As with many Christopher Columbus statues across the state, this one in Worcester Square here in New Haven has been vandalized numerous times through the years, including as recently as last week. And folks we spoke to today had differing opinions as to whether it should be brought down. It's a very storied, historic community here, and, and the people are very strong and proud of um, their side of history. So I, I certainly respect all sides involved. I think it's an important conversation that we've been having in New Haven for a few years. He is a state representative who lives right near the Columbus statue that has stood since 1892. I think a lot of the uh, stories that we were told as we were young and growing up, we've found out through history and greater examination just aren't true. Of course, in recent years, Columbus has been accused of being a racist, a murderer, and a slave trader. All those accounts come from a man named who wrote a book called The People's History of the United States, written by a Marxist historian, Howard Zinn. There are a number of books out there by Mary Graybach debunking Howard Zinn. He's a member of the national organization called Sons and Daughters of Italy in America. But he never owned any slaves. He never brought any from the Western Hemisphere, from Africa. He never did any of those things. He never even set foot in the United States. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin, whose city will also be removing its Columbus statue, will be talking with family of the sculptor and members of the Italian-American community there to discuss next steps. Using Columbus as the hero for the Italian-American community probably doesn't make much sense anymore. Uh, and we have plenty of heroes that we can celebrate. And unfortunately, Tony, a lot of the elected officials aren't uh, on this subject, are not educated enough. No word whether New Haven's Christopher Columbus Academy or Columbus Avenue will have their names changed. We should be examining who we name those things after. In New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.